I am back again with a very exciting recipe, bourbon chicken. So easy and so, so yummy. I'll be right back to tell you. Most bourbon chickens, you have to thicken it after it cooks. On, on this recipe, you will not have to do that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is add our one can of diced tomatoes. Okay, so to the one can of diced tomatoes, we are going to add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Just put it right in there like that. At this point, let's go ahead and stir that flour up in those tomatoes so it, it's gonna look um, creamy-like, white, you know, more of a white. But you wanna make sure you stir this up really good because it's easier to get it incorporated at this point than later. It's all incorporated, there's no lumps, anything like that, okay? That's probably the most difficult part. <laughs> We're gonna add one fourth cup of brown sugar. And then it's gonna take, and look at my big jug of soy sauce. It's gonna take one fourth cup of soy sauce. So equal amounts, brown sugar and soy sauce. And I buy this big of the jug to save money. That is the one thing, if you buy a big jug of soy sauce, it saves you so much money compared to buying the small little jars, you know? So I just refill my jars with that jug, unless I'm using a lot. And then we need our ginger. So we're going to add one teaspoon of ginger. After you make this a couple of times, you might want to add more ginger. But to start out with your first recipe, I suggest one teaspoon of ginger. And then it's going to need some garlic. So we're going to add, make sure this is, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic. Okay, so it calls for red pepper flakes. This is definitely up to you. You can do a half or a whole teaspoon. We like spicy, so I'm doing a whole teaspoon in mine. If you're not big on spicy, you can do a fourth of a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, one teaspoon. If you want it so spicy that it makes you cry, then add two teaspoons, okay? Anything will work. It's up to you. Just do whatever how you wanna do it. And then, I have these little applesauce cups. I got the unsweetened. You wouldn't want to add sweetened because we already added enough of brown sugar. So we're going to add one four ounce of unsweetened applesauce. If you don't have these, these cups, just measure out a half a cup, okay? So I'm just going to stir a little bit right now. It just makes me feel better. Sometimes, aren't you cooking sometimes and you think, oh my gosh, I just think I need to stir this right now. I do that all the time. Or I think, oh, I think I need to peel that carrot right now. And I just peel the carrot right then. So it's funny. We all have our little corks, all of us. And so it's called bourbon chicken. So we're gonna add some bourbon to it. This is from Austin, Texas. So we're gonna add two tablespoons. Now, if you don't want to do bourbon, which bourbon gives it a great flavor, and remember the alcohol is gonna cook off. So there's not gonna be any alcohol when it's done. Kids can eat it, it's fine. But um, if you just don't even have whiskey in your house, you can use hoisin sauce in the same amount, two tablespoons. I love the flavor that whiskey gives it. So we're adding one, two, 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 two. I would take a swig of this, but no. Too early in the day. Calls for two carrots diced. I had it one or two carrots, whatever you want to do. I had two really small carrots, so I went ahead and diced them. Now, what I want to say here is you can add the little baby corns that you can see in the Asian section of the department store. You're welcome to add those. You can add bamboo shoots. You can pretty much add anything else to this that you want, but I really like carrots in it. And then, you know, have a side of anything else you want to have. Typically, we eat it just over rice with that on top. We love it. And so this is one pound of chicken breast cut up. You can use skinless, boneless thighs. Thighs actually stay more moist and more tender. These have a tendency to dry out the breast, but that's that's fine. I mean, we don't mind it drying out a little bit. And I cut mine in a little bit smaller pieces for this one. Well, I guess that ended up being a big piece. See, I'm just not, I'm not too fussy about it, but I tried to get more bite-sized pieces on this. So we're adding our one pound of chicken. Boneless, skinless chicken. So that's it. So you want to stir it. Now I will tell you, this is going to feed more than one. This will probably feed two very, very easy or have enough left over to take to work the next day for lunch or to have a couple days later for your dinner again. You're going to set this on high for five hours. 
on this particular recipe, I would suggest stirring it halfway through, only because we have that flour in there that's gonna thicken this sauce up really nicely, but we don't want it to get stuck to the bottom. So if you can, stir it halfway through. I think that would, um, that would be the best, okay? And then when this is done, I'm gonna serve it over rice. You can serve it over anything. Oh my goodness, you can serve it over, you could serve it over toast if you wanted to, spaghetti squash, quinoa, um, just anything that you eat, uh, zucchini, cooked zucchini, you could serve it over anything. However, we really like rice and uh, most of our things are jasmine rice that I serve it over. So I'm going to get this started cooking and after it's done and it's plated, I'm going to come back and just show you how yummy this looks. See you soon. Our bourbon chicken is completely done. I've cooked white rice and put it over top of there. You can see my nice little chicken chunks. It's pretty thick gravy. On, I didn't thicken it up, only the flour that we put in in the beginning. And now the true test. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. now mine is a little bit spicy because I remember I had a whole teaspoon. So there's spice in mine, but the flavor is outstanding. Very, very good. I love it. This is so easy. This is so easy. You all can do this. And then you have a nice hot meal at night. Okay, give it a try. Subscribe and like, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.